All right, in this video, we're gonna pick right up from where we left off in the Spotify playlist names and the track names for each playlist that you have for your Spotify account. If you have not already seen the, I guess you could say part one, go ahead and check it out over on my YouTube channel. And now let's go ahead and dive into the KOWP part. I've added everything inside of a component inside of KOWP and inside of that component, if we go over to its globals, all we need is two globals. One global is going to be, I called it num, it's a text global. And recall back in the first part, the first tutorial I did, we did have a variable that we sent over to KOWP from Tasker, I called it number of playlist. I have 16 playlists on my Spotify account. So I want to send that over to KOWP from Tasker. That way, if I ever add or take away a playlist, that will automatically get updated inside of KOWP. That's gonna be important as we start toggling through each one of these playlists. Then our second text global is going to be a count, and you can just add a text global, set count to one, and we're gonna use this to toggle through uh, these particular playlists that I'm gonna show you right here in a second. Now back inside of this component, I have things organized inside of a stack group, and let's just go ahead and talk about this top piece up here, uh, these three buttons that I have. Now for the arrow forward, that's this one right here, uh, you can do whatever font icon or whatever button you want to make. But for the touch, what I want to do for this one is I want to toggle that text global that I called count. Uh, not the num, I want to toggle count. And for that to toggle, if GV count is less than GV num, basically that text global that I said make it equal to one or whatever you want to make it equal to, if it's less than the number of playlists that I have, then I wanna add one to that text global. And if it's not less than GVNum, which means I'm gonna be at my 16 or how many ever playlists you have, we don't wanna add one to it then, we wanna set it back to the beginning. So that's gonna set it back to one that's if GV count is not less than GV num. This is what's going to allow us to go up through each playlist, you know, from one to two to three to four. But whenever you hit your last playlist, it's going to reset it back to one. Very similar for the back arrow. That's this one right here. If we touch it, the code is a little bit different. We're still toggling the same text global, but the code here is if GV counts greater than one, then we want to subtract one from it. We want to go backwards. For example, we wanna go 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and we wanna keep doing this as long as GV count is greater than one. But if it's not greater than one, then we want to go back to our last playlist. In my case, that's 16 playlists. So whenever GV count is not greater than one, we're gonna set it back to the highest number playlist that we have. I hope that makes sense. And then right in the middle here, this refresh button that I have, this is what I will touch to launch a shortcut. And you wanna pick that task that we created back inside of Tasker that I covered in part one of this Spotify tutorial. Now make sure you add an icon inside of Tasker, otherwise I think it's gonna give you some type of warning or whatever, but you have to add an icon inside of Tasker, that way you can actually apply it. Just one of those things you have to do with Tasker and KOWP. So that's that top part, the stat group. Now this text item here that I'm getting the playlist name, this is where we're bringing over some stuff from Tasker. And if you look back at part one of the tutorial, we broadcast for Tasker and then I had a playlist and then that variable that we're sending over, it could have been playlist one, playlist two, playlist three, all the way up to the highest number of playlists that we have. So playlist, you gotta put a plus, and GV count. GV count is what we're changing inside of KOWP. So by us doing this in KOWP, it's gonna look at those things getting sent over from Tasker, and it's gonna show playlist one, playlist two, playlist three, and it's gonna change the title. And in this case, Audio Slave is what I have here. So uh, apparently one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, I'm guessing, is what count is equal to. Let's go check out and see what count is equal to. And notice count is equal to seven. If I bump this up, I'm at Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Getaway. That's the very next one on my list. And now, even though count says seven, it says eight here. So uh, that will not update sometimes down there. But as you can see, it did once I checked that and applied it. 
So again, back to that playlist title, make sure you put that plus. That way it'll be a playlist one, playlist two, playlist three. The plus is in between there to separate the word playlist and whatever uh, number we want. The plus is not actually used in the code itself. It's just a way you can kind of separate a global variable from some words, if I'm not mistaken. Now for our tracks of each playlist. This was not an array that we created in Tasker. In Tasker, what we did with this is that we separated each track in a particular playlist. But again, in Tasker, we did call those tracks one, tracks two, tracks three, tracks four, based on playlist one, playlist two, playlist three, playlist four, etc. Now I'm going to delete some of this stuff to show you the regex that I'm doing here. And I want you to see the long string of text that we have with our at symbols. I'm on Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Getaway, and all of these songs are displayed right here. Notice The Getaway, Dark Necessities, We Turn Red, etc. All of those are separated by two at symbols. That's what I used inside of AutoWeb and Tasker to separate each song. I did that just in case I had a comma somewhere in a song title, it would still keep each item separated so I'm using the double at symbols. And the way we can get rid of those is a little bit of regex inside of KOWP, TC for text converter, reg, put a comma, and then at the end of this, put another comma, we want to search for two at symbols. I'm gonna put those in double quotes, put a comma. What do we wanna replace it with? I'm gonna put a double quote, I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to put a double quote again and then I'm going to close this up with a parentheses. Now you may notice these things are not lined up correctly. If that's the case for you, I just need to come right here and backspace one spot. For some reason when I press enter, it will enter to a new line and then it will automatically add one space. I just deleted that space, but I'm still keeping the enter for a new line and that's what separates each song just like that. And once all that is done, we should be able to go back to the home screen and I'm going to add a playlist here over in my Spotify app and I'm going to see if it will actually update. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. Here's Muse. And if I go back one more, I'm at Jackson. So, you know, Muse was up here and I'm going backwards. So it's going to my highest playlist and I can cycle through all of these. And if you're watching this and you're looking over here, they're going in the exact same order. If I were to rearrange these things, it should maintain that order as well. Let me show you that real quick before we add a playlist. So Muse is my first one. If I take I'm going to take Wolf Mother and I'm going to drag it right above Muse. Now the way I can get this to refresh to match over here is to actually run this task and that's what this refresh button will do. So let's give it a second to update and boom, just like that it just updated it. So now Wolf Mother is my first playlist. If I go backwards, I should be at Jackson, which I am. And if I go forward from Wolf Mother, I'm now at Muse. So it will update that as long as you run that task. Now let's add a new playlist. I'm going to add U2. They have a new album out or relatively new. And this is, yeah, this is the right one. So I'm going to click on that, add to playlist. I'm going to create a new playlist and it's going to put it at the top, but I don't have to put it at the top. I can put it, I'm going to put it right down here before I get to my son's stuff. So right after AWOL Nation. And let's refresh this. And also make sure for the playlist that, you know, created by, make sure you're using your username. And I'm assuming this has refreshed by now. Let's run this and see. So it should be after AWOL Nation. And boom, there it is. Updated. Perfect. So yeah, there you have it. Getting your playlist from Spotify, getting the tracks from each playlist for Spotify, doing all that stuff in Tasker using AutoWeb, and then sending all of that stuff where we have now set it up inside of a component in KOWP. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.